What up guys, Supermetal983 here, here bringing us another album review, and this time I've got some atmospheric black metal for you to check out, and this one I'd highly recommend because this one has become my favourite black metal release of 2018, and I know I've only got two months, but I can guarantee this one's going to be the highest rated black metal release of 2018, guaranteed. But I'm going to be reviewing the new Utstock album, entitled Yarnvenir. I believe how it's pronounced, um, no good a pronunciation anyway, so what's new on this channel, but anyway, but yeah, this is the band's second full length album, um, if you aren't too familiar about, with the band, they're a two piece, um, studio based, um, atmospheric black metal band, um, they have two releases under their belt besides, uh, this new album, they have their debut EP, which is called Legend of Odin, I believe how it's pronounced, which I haven't listened to that release, I might as well say right now, but I do own their debut album, which is called Yorongavaga, I believe how it's pronounced, which is this one, uh, released under Celestial Law Productions, obviously, as you know, Camp Blagriff on YouTube's uh, label, and wow, this album is absolutely amazing, still one of my favourite atmospheric black metal albums that I've checked out over the years, it's it's just so good, you just need to hear it to know what this album is, I'll leave, obviously, on their band camp, you'll be able to check it out, so yeah, make sure you do, and I believe there's still some copies of this on CD available, so if you want to buy it, link down below as well, the Celestial Law Productions' is, um, Big Cartel, but anyway, and I might as well also add, um, Celestial Law Productions will be releasing this on CD in due course, and I can guarantee I'll be picking up a copy, so yeah, let's get on with this review anyway. But yeah, this is the band's second full-length album, Yarnvenir. As I said, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. But yeah, this is a quite a long album. It lasts an hour and six minutes in length. But I feel, honestly, that this album doesn't overstay its welcome one little bit. It's the time that passes by on this album, you'll want to listen to it again and again. I think this album, um, personally, beats Yoronga Varga. I think... My favourite elements, personally, about this album compared to Your Wrong of Varga is I just feel like this album just has a bit more of a crisp, uh, not, exact, not exactly frostbitten kind of thing, but a, definitely a frosty kind of vibe on there. That's definitely a very cold album compared to Your Wrong of Varga, but I definitely feel like this is definitely a much more stronger release than Your Wrong of Varga. I mean... From the whole progression to the atmospheric black metal elements. And I feel, personally, I don't know about anyone else. When it comes to atmospheric black metal, it has to have that perfect balance. Or perfect balance for it to be a really good atmospheric black metal. Between wow and ooh, this is soothes the soul somewhat. And that's what I love, personally, about atmospheric black metal. It's... It, you can listen to death metal all day long, but when it comes to atmospheric black metal, that's your calm zone. That's when you chill back and just enjoy the music. And I tell you something, I absolutely adore the music on this album. It definitely gives it that that vibe of wow and chill all in one, and it is outstanding if you ask me. Um, the the colder elements, oh sorry, the overall production on this album. Definitely puts me, me personally, in mind of the likes of Warden's Throne Curse. Um, it's kind of a bit more modern, a bit more um, audibility, should we just say, in uh, in the musicianship going on. You can hear the guitars. The drums are loud and punchy as hell. The blast beats are very, very tight on there. But on top of that, the symphonic elements and the, the overall ambience that's created on this album definitely... I feel are very very well mixed. I think this is definitely one of the most um, modern but mature and very greatly executed mixes that I've heard in atmospheric black metal for a long time. I definitely feel like this production it has a wow factor like it does on One Strong Curse. But I feel like the overall progression that the album has and the feels that are on there, I definitely feel like it emanates a lot with uh, Warden's Throne Loss, and obviously, as you know, Warden's Throne Loss is my favourite atmospheric black metal album of all time, so to compare it to that, it's obviously going to be high praise, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I definitely feel like the frostbitten elements, they're not, like as I said, 
um, they're not going to be like frostbitten like a mall for or, or mid ear or old mall. It's more like a really frozen kind of atmosphere, like you would hear on the likes of my, one of my other favorite atmospheric black metal albums, uh, Fortress, uh, Les Hivers, Der Neuter Epoch. I believe how it's pronounced, but that, yeah, it's not overwhelming with cold, oops, excuse me, it's not overwhelming with coldness, it's just, oh, it's just a very nice, soothing chill to give you shivers, but it still soothes you so, and that's an outstanding feature, if you ask me, and um, the original tracks definitely echo that, if you um, ask me, um, one element that I would like to add that truly blew me away when I was listening to it and that was the third track now it's called um, Dunkle Height and there's loads of people who will click straight away and know who that's from it surprisingly took me a while to recognise the song but on I think it's because it's just got that modern sort of sound to it but it's from Burzum's Phil Sotham. it's a cover on the album and Phil Sotham, shame that I didn't recognise but is my favourite Burzum album and the fact that when I heard it, I was just in awe just listening to it. And I feel like that was the X factor to this album that I feel like, wow, that's definitely going to push this album really high. Not to mention the original material is outstanding, but that cover just blew me away. And I honestly, this might be a crime to see it, but I, I think I prefer it to Phil uh version. So, yeah. Shoot me if you want, I don't care. But um, yeah, I'm not going to even bother pronouncing the songs because I'm really not good at pronunciation, but I'm just going to say it. Um, but yeah, it's six tracks, and um, obviously, as I said, the third track is the Burzum cover. But all five other tracks on this album, definitely um, the range from uh, twelve, uh, sorry, 14 minutes, 42, nearly 15 minutes on the last track, uh, 9 minutes, 27. So it's a very lengthy songs on there. But I feel like the ambience and the melodies that are in there definitely um, make it all at home, if you ask me. I feel like the overall progression of this album, even with the Burzum cover in there, definitely make this album an absolute joy, a pleasure, and a fun listen to do. It, it's one of those atmospheric black metal albums that, joy, that brings joy to your soul uh, if you're a fan of you know, atmospheric black metal or black metal in general, because, wow, I am absolutely overwhelmed with this album, and I think it is definitely a very strong album musically. And the vocals are um, very, very vicious, I have to say. They are very sharp, but they are not too sharp that they overwhelm the music. They just create it. It's weird to see that vocals can create atmosphere, on a record, but this is definitely a one of those um, elements because the 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 high end vocals are just serenade. They definitely reminds a lot of Owen Throne Lost. I know I keep on referencing that, but yeah, uh, they definitely emanate that. And then there's some even some lower vocals in there, especially on the last track. Um, I'm not even going to pronounce it the sixth track, but yeah, there's some lower vocals on there that definitely just add that. It kind of adds a bit of gloominess to that little tint of gloominess to it, but it it's that kind of vibe that you would get in like a winter forest, like on the album artwork. So yeah, it really overall adds it, and I think this is definitely one one of my favorite atmospheric black metal albums that I've heard. Period. This is outstanding black metal. I absolutely love this album, and quite frankly. If you haven't heard this album, if you haven't heard it, you really need to get yourself in gear. I'll leave some links down below to, uh, if there's anything on YouTube, then I'll obviously leave a link as well. But the band camp where you can download it, I believe it's up for free download as well. So you can't go wrong with that. And if you want to support this band, definitely pick up the CD through Celestial Orc Productions. Where it drops, obviously links will be updated down below. But the big cartel for Celestia York, just to keep an eye on it, is down there. But I will update it when the pre-orders go up. But anyway, an absolutely outstanding, cold, and a lot of elements, beautiful atmospheric black album. It's, it's chilling. I absolutely adore this album. And for an overall score, though, I'm going to give this a solid, a solid 9.5 out of 10. 
absolutely outstanding and definitely one of the best of 2018. You need to get your ears around the new Udstart album entitled Yarnvenir, I believe how it's pronounced. That's going to be released on Celestial Oak Productions on CD and I believe they're somewhat involved with the, the digital present as well. So yeah, uh, make sure you check out Udstart and I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal and I'll see you later.